Hi, welcome back to Krishna's Excel Anywhere. Today we will be looking for how to create a data validation and benefits of using data validation. First let's see what is data validation. Excel can restrict data entry to certain cells by using data validation. It prompt users to enter valid data when a cell is selected and also it displays an error message when a user enters invalid data. This also helps to provide the data accurately. By using this data validation helps you control what can be entered in your excel worksheet. Here we have an example for employee data validation. Imagine you are working in a company and you have a request from your managers or HR team to collect all employees details. Let's see how to use data validation for this kind of data. It helps you control what can be entered in your worksheet. First let's see where the data, data validation option is available. On the menu bar, click on the data tab and you will find an option data validation. Click on the drop down and the very first option click on the data validation. It will take you to this window data validation defined in window with three tabs settings, input message and error alert. The settings tab is where you enter validation criteria. There are a number of built-in validation rules with various options. We will be learning the widely used functions from this list. Okay, let me tell you what is the input message. Input message tab defines a message to display when a cell with the validation rules is selected. This input message is completely optional. If no input message is set, no message appears. When a user selects a cell with the data validation applied. The next is a very important error alert. The error alert tab controls how validation is enforced. For example, if you are selecting stop, invalid data triggers a window with a message. That message we can define it while working on the data. Even we will learn about these two in a while. First, let's see how to implement this validation now. There is a possibility that we ask the employee to update their name here, but by mistake might update any other numbers. So which might lead to error that should be completely restricted. So we, we are going to define such a way that this column should be contained only text not numeric. Column B, it should be updated only numeric not any text value. Let me select this column data, click on data tab and data validation, click on data validation again, the very first option, you will get the data validation window. If you see the very first one settings, validation criteria allow any value. If you type any value, it accepts. So what now we are going to give the restriction. We are we need only alphabets, not numeric. How to do that? So by using custom, we can do that. First, we are going to define formula is text. If it is number, we can give only is number. Now we need only text and give open bracket. We have to define the range where we need to give the criteria. So I need from, from A3 till A17. Close the bracket and click on OK. Let me update John. It accepts as because it's text. The second employee is trying to update batch ID here by mistake and enter. It's throwing an error. Now it's not accepting. The numeric number is not accepting in this range. It says either this value does not match the validation restrictions defined for the cell as we have defined only the text. So we can edit this. I'll be showing it uh, in a while. It is helpful future, especially when widely sharing an Excel worksheet with others. So I'm going to set that input message for this range. How to do that and get the data validation window and title. I'll say as your name input message. It should update your name. Now we are defining this input message only for this particular range and click on OK. Now let's try. If you click on this anywhere in this particular range, it will show as update your name. The employee didn't observe this. The employee is trying to update numeric instead of name and it's throwing an error. I want to define the error message. So you select the particular range, click on data tab and data validation. Select the data validation and you will get this window. Now we are going to learn error alert. So what kind of error alert you want to define when the user is updating data incorrectly. First we learn about stop. Stop means it behavior stops users from entering invalid data in a cell. User, user can try but must enter a value that 
passes data validation and when the user updating data incorrectly i want to tell them that uh, you have to update your name i'll click on okay now let's see updating numeric by mistake on the error message you can see here you have to update your name earlier we were getting in that excel default error message we tried with stop which means it's completely stopped and we'll see the next one warning warning does nothing to stop invalid data the warning alerts window has three options it says just yes to accept invalid data no to edit invalid data and cancel to remove the invalid data and the information the last one it just informs the users that data is invalid this message does nothing to stop invalid data the information alert windows has two options one is okay to accept invalid data and cancel to remove it and we'll see one by one they have already learned how to stop it means it does not allow the users to update the value let's see warning what it does we'll give the same you have to update your your name and click ok now let's try what to update i'll update smith it accepts because it's text now the third person is trying to update numeric value and see what happens the style is set to information not stop that error message now you can see this right you have to update your name but now it's asking yes or no or cancel help so this these are the two options which is we have to observe if you say yes to accept invalid it accepts if you say no to edit invalid let's see no yeah it's asking to edit and it will uh, next we'll say try to cancel it cancels completely we don't have any value and the third option we'll try with yes it means it it accepts so now let's learn data validation for batch id you select the range and get the data validation uh, window you have to click on data tab and data validation or you can use shortcut alt a v v you'll get the data validation window column b we need batch id which means we need only the number we need whole number you can also assign custom is number by using use number also you can do that but you can use whole number between so we have batch id from 100 maximum 300 click ok now let me update batch id 101 it will accept because we have assigned the parameter from 100 to 300 and let me the second employee updating 105 it accepts third employee trying to update 800 it will not accept if you see the error miss this value does not match the data validation restriction defined for this cell this can be modified as per your convenient as i explained in the first scenario now for now i'll cancel it this is how you can define the batch id next next we are going to assign data validation for department uh, i will use shortcut alt a v v uh, we will get the data validation window yo we will assign list let me show you how uh, list looks like now i will update hr the department it sales only these three should be there other than these three values the sources nothing should be accepted now click on ok you will see a drop down option right side of the corner of the cell now by clicking this you can select either the employee from hr department or it department and sales now instead of sales i'll try to update some different one so i'll try to update marketing let's see whether it will accept or not it will not accept it will throw an error as it does not meet the requirements the parameter click ok so this is how we can assign that list we'll try to update the joining here now we'll define the data validation for this i'll update uh, i'll update old number and minimum it should be 1990 until 2021 20, will give and click ok now the first employee is join in 1990 it accepts and the second one 1999 accept 2020 the third employee trying to update 2020 it will accept because we have given till 2021 the fourth employee trying to update 2022 it will not accept as in the parameter we have defined only from 1990 to 2021 and this is very important assigning emergency contact most of the time it will be only 10 digits it should contain only the only number with 10 digits let's learn how to do that alt a v v to get data validation window now from any value we'll be assigning only the number and with 10 digits you can use and for text we used is text now we are going to use is number what does it mean it accepts only the number not text or any other character so is number for now i will give only for e3 and close the bucket and now we have considered uh, only the number the length of the value should be within 10 how to figure out that 
by using len open bracket and select e3 and close the bracket and give the len should be equal to 10 and close it so for now input message box i will update as update valid contact number i will assign the alert style should be stop if the update incorrect data it should be stop you have updated the invalid invalid data okay now let's try when you click on this you can see that update valid valid contact number it says the text so i will update her contact number with the 10 digits it should accept enter yes it accepts the next uh, employee also trying to update the correct one it accepts the third one we'll see what happens i'm trying to update batch id or some other number instead of contact number it will not accept it's not even with the 10 digits it's throwing an error you have updated invalid data this is how you can put the restriction to update contact number the next one date of entry so for this uh, particular range i need to define the validation only with the current date and click on data validation you get the data validation window now allows all the value but now i need only the date it should be not between or not equal to we need equal to today's date we have formula for that today open parenthesis and close parenthesis and click on okay what is the shortcut to get the current date holding control key press colon you will get the today's date it accepts now what i'll do wantedly i'm trying to update tomorrow's next day's date fourth of jan and we'll see what is the result it will not accept it will throw an error for this you can define error message please update today's date now let's see i'll try to update today's date is accepted i'll try, try to update previous days or two days before first of jan 2021 i'll update it will not accept please update today's date it says current date to update it works from this we have covered uh, everything i hope i have covered most of the things which is used which is widely used in corporate or in most of the place like custom length time time uh, we, we can cover it in the future in the advanced session date list whole number any value and input message and error message also we have covered and in the next session we are going to learn which is very helpful drop down list and dependent with with indirect match so don't miss the video also if you have any questions or clarification required on this please drop in message in the comment if you found this video helpful please hit like and subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon and select all for notification when i upload new videos thank you for watching